What's up guys, today we are going to be installing a Harbor Freight Badland ZXR 2500 winch on my car hauler. Mr. Snowman didn't make it, but I just picked up all the stuff from Harbor Freight and we are gonna throw this winch on here so I can go pick up my sister-in-law's car to do a head gasket on it. There'll be a video for that coming soon, but other than that, let's get started. All right, so I'm gonna show you what I got. Um, I went to Harbor Freight just a little bit ago. I picked up the Badland winch and then I don't even know where the box went but it was like four dollars for this little mount for the 25 and 35 hundred pound winch I picked it up like I said it was like four bucks so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grind down weld that on about right there and then it came with this and what I'm gonna do is probably drill a hole right here and mount that right there because I'll be using a snatch block to double that winch's capacity so I can pull up to 5,000 pounds onto the trailer. And if it's bigger than that, then probably got uh, more problems than having to winch it up supposed to be rollover fenders but I don't want to take that chance and everything that I should be towing should be 5,000 pounds or less even though it's a 10,000 pound axle trailer but we're gonna go ahead and get started okay so like I said I got this plate from Harbor Freight I'm gonna put it probably put it right around right here just so it has more this is a thick piece of angle iron and I might actually move this ring over here to kind of spread it out so it's not so tight and get maybe a little bit more support being at a welded point so I'm gonna grind this plate down so I can weld it on here I'm gonna grind the paint off of here and then that way I can get it welded up safety first always wear a face shield I was doing something one time and just had safety glasses on when I was grinding and uh, I got a piece of metal right in my eyeball and they had to use a diamond burr, I think is what the doctor said. And they had to drill into my eye to get it out and it wasn't fun. So I try to protect my eyes as much as I can because I don't want to go through that again. So I did back here because I'm gonna shoot beads down right here. And if you look, I don't know if you can see it, but I beveled both sides of this. And on the trailer, I beveled it on the edges right here. That way I can try to get a little bit deeper of a weld on there. Okay, I got it clamped on. You can probably tell looks crooked that's because it is but you can see the bevel down in there on both sides that way I can get some good penetration on it same on the bottom but I have it a little bit crooked because if you look if it goes straight back like it is it should hit right in the middle of the trailer and that's how I'm gonna weld it on try to keep the cable from binding and causing any issues further down the road so I'm gonna get my welder hooked up Get it over here. See if we can get this thing tacked in. Okay, let's see if we can get this thing burned in. All right, got it 
tacked in. See what it looks like. I think it'll work. All right, we'll burn it the rest of the way in. Okay, so I have some extra gussets from when I built the go-kart. These are actually from Go Power Sports, but they're just little steel gussets. I think I'm gonna weld them in on the bottom here just to give it some support right here since this hangs over so much. So let me get the grinder, clean this up, and weld in a couple gussets. Most of my welds turned out real nice. Some of them welding upside down, I really suck at. But most of them turned out really not too shabby. Look like I got good penetration. I don't think this thing is gonna go anywhere. So I'm gonna let it cool off, clean it up, and then we will uh, throw some primer on it and shoot some glossy black paint back on it. So it looks like it came that way. So. I'll be back. I'm gonna switch this blade out. I'm gonna cut this off because it protrudes out a little bit. Probably trim up that littler gusset as well. That way it looks better. Scuffed it up so hopefully the paint will stick a little better since the paint was bubbling. I'll go back and hit that spot. But not the prettiest welds, but it'll hold. Got the gussets in there. I'm happy with how it turned out. So I am gonna go get some paper towels, wipe this down, probably throw some primer on it, try to get this thing finished up. Spray down. Oof. No bueno. It's taking the finish off my wood. I guess be mindful what you spray, guys. like freezing cold outside today but it's chilly so that can is it's coming out pretty thick so be mindful of that so you don't have to go back like I'm doing right now and wipe little spots of primer off all right 
we'll let that dry for a while. Looks like there's some spots that are gonna... Didn't get wiped down very good. We'll shoot some paint over that in a minute. But, actually, let's do it right now. There you go, like it never happened. All right, we're gonna let that dry for a while. I'm gonna start getting the bolts and hardware ready for the winch. This winch is really cool because it comes with a uh, remote, it's wireless, so. We'll let that dry for a while and I'll come back once it's dried. All right, while we let the paint dry, we're gonna go ahead and get this guy mounted over here. I think our best bet's gonna be going through right here. So I'm gonna drill a quarter inch hole through it as a pilot hole and then hit it with a half inch and that should be plenty big enough. Might have to waller it a little bit. it down, bring it back up, use a snatch box, connect it to here. Should work out real nice. Okay, so the paint is dry. I can touch it. It's not sticky. Everything's good. So we're going to go ahead and get the winch mounted up on here. Put the front. longer bolt in the kit, slide it in, washer, the lock washer, and same on the back side, washer, lock washer, nut. So the bolt is a 13, the nut is a 14. Same as the other, washer.
Okay. You can see the winch is on all together. Power lines are on. Box is on. This is for your manual remote. This one has a wireless setting. And I'll probably end up eventually mounting a battery right here. I'll just get some battery tie downs, mount it right there. But for now, I don't have one that I can use. I need to go get one. I have one I can borrow, but I don't have one that's actually mine. So I'm going to go get that one, hook it up, see how uh, it works, and then I'll get one eventually and get it mounted. But the winch itself is on. The ring over here is on. It's painted. Bolted up. So, I like it. So I'm gonna go grab that battery I'm gonna borrow just to do a quick test out, and then we'll probably end it off there. Sweet, it works. I really like the wireless remote, that's nice, but I will tell you, it is way louder than I expected it to be. This sings pretty loud, but that's it. That is the Badland ZXR2500 installed onto my car hauler. I'll try it out later and let y'all know how it goes. All right guys, that's it. The Badland winch is on my car hauler. I'm super excited that I got it on because I did not want to have to push this car onto my uh, trailer here in a little while. I'm going to pick up a car and I didn't want to push it on. It doesn't run, it needs a head gasket. So I'm going to be doing a head gasket on it, but it's on. The winch is loud, but it doesn't really bother me because I'm not going to be using it all the time. If it works, it works. 2,500 pounds, use a snatch block. I'll be able to pull anything that's, you know, right around 5,000 pounds or less onto the trailer, but it should do its job. I'm happy with how it turned out. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for this one. If you uh, like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe. I'm gonna have more videos coming. And uh, that's gonna do it. That's gonna wrap this one up. So thanks for watching. And remember guys, love each other.